So, first one, right as a product, <coughs> what we're looking at is on our formula sheet, we're looking at the sums part of our formula sheet. Just getting used to writing this as a product, okay? So, cos plus cos, we're going to use the one that says cos C plus cos D. On the formula sheet, it says cos C plus cos D is 2 cos C plus D over 2 cos C minus D over 2. And, it, and hopefully this sort of makes sense from there. So if that's C and that's D, we're just going 2 cos 5x plus 3x over 2 cos 5x minus 3x over 2. So that is simply 2 cos 4x cos x. And that's, that's it as a product, okay? So hopefully that process looks pretty straightforward. So you use the formula. Right? You can do, if you were to convert that back to its sums, <coughs> that's the sort of process you are you are working on. Okay? Now what if yeah, everyone happy with that? It's basically the same as the compound formula worked backwards. It's just rearranged all from that compound formula, all from that proof of what you guys to do. Watch, okay? So that's using it. This is more the <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> the question you might get. So which one are we going to use looking at our formula sheet? One that says sine minus sine. Everyone sees that on their formula sheet? And so that means the left hand side will be 2 cos uh, I'll write down C plus D over 2 Sine of C minus D over 2, and that is all over cos minus cos, that is negative 2 sine of C plus D over 2, uh, cos minus cos, and sine, again. sine of C minus D over 2. Can everyone see what I've done there? I've just chosen those two sums parts to use. You happy with that? Now it's going to go through and replace the C on the top line with 5A. Okay. Okay. And the D on the top line with 3A. Okay. And on the bottom line, again, the C with 5A. And the D with 3A. So you get 5A plus 3A is the same thing as what it was before, wasn't it? 2 cos... 2 cos 4A sine A all over negative 2 sine 4A Sine A. Now, what do you notice about that? <coughs> that sine A will cancel with that sine A. Anything else? The twos will cancel. Cos of a sine is cot. The negative there to that is negative cot. 4A is my right hand side. So, it's, does that seem like when I do it, does that seem relatively straightforward when I'm doing it for you guys? Yeah. All I'm doing is following the formula sheet. Uh, I said you can't do that when you've got you can't cross them out there. 
but it's a 1 minus the cos A. Here, this is 2 times this times that, all divided by that times that times that. There's no pluses and minuses there. That's a, that there is a negative, if you like. Happy? Happy? Okay. 